Productivity lives here. It is. Oh, is it Saturday? Or it's Saturday morning. I swear, it might seem like I'm doing that on purpose every time. I'm like, what day it is? But unless it's Monday or Thursday, I usually don't know because the video is not being released. It is Saturday. It is the weekend. I am so excited. I just slept in. It is like 11:30. Scarborough slept in with me. He's both just like blessed life because my sleep schedule for the rest of the week has been like not. Hey, Satan. Here's the mission for this weekend. It's really exciting. Check it out. Zoom. Clean my goddamn house. So exciting. Then I'm heading to a birthday party. I gotta finish a creative deck. I gotta do some creative brainstorming. I have to watch a lot of TV and television. I know that seems leisure, but it's actually to prep for some meetings so I know those people's work. And as much work as I can do all that more, let's do it! Good morning, sweet boy. Good morning, sweet boy. You wanna bite mommy's fingers every morning? Every morning? So every morning, I leave Scarborough on the bed while I brush my teeth, do stuff, and then I take him downstairs so he can go pee and stuff, because he can't jump on and off the bed yet. But every morning when I try to get him off the bed, every morning, this is what I go through. Scarborough, come. Come. Scarborough, come on. We gotta go downstairs. Come on. Come on. Scar 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 Scarborough. Come on. He just loves the bed so much. He loves like blankets and pillows and he refuses. It's impossible to get him. I have to like get on the bed. Come here. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, my little munchkin. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of this weekend is gonna be for Scarborough because the last couple days, Scarborough has been so patient with me. I've been doing so much work. He's wanted to play. I played with him every night, but I could tell there's definitely times in the office where he was like crying because I wanna play, but I've just been so swamped. This weekend, babe, is about you. It's gonna be about playing, making sure you have fun, okay? Because you've been so patient. To Scarborough. Right off the bat this morning, I need to get some energy off my chest, and I did tweet about this as well. This is not tea. This is not me being angry. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. I'm not slaying. I'm not dragging. I know those are all like cute words we use, but I am genuinely trying to communicate something. And I think sometimes when people are trying to like have a real conversation, and was like, drag her, it's like not helpful for that conversation because I'm like, I don't want to drag her, and I'm just genuinely having a conversation. I've made a lot of videos online, like a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot like a thousand two thousand thousands of videos and I have videos on all types of subjects I've been making videos since 2010 That is eight years. It's 2018, right? What year is it? And over those eight years the world has changed I could talk about things before I can't talk about now because of just what's acceptable and what's politically correct and yada. I think if every comedian every person that does comedy has probably gone through that struggle where they're like well I made jokes like these years ago and no one got so offended, but now everyone's offended by everything That's a whole separate conversation But I've just noticed as a woman every time I make a video that has some sort of commentary about men, it's the end of the goddamn world. I have videos, all types of videos, about women and men. How girls react to this, how girls send text messages. It's just, I've done a lot of that. And it's always, I would like to believe, very lighthearted. It's never me taking jabs at like the other gender being like, this is why society sucks. My recent video, what a guy's tattoo means, okay? This is a prime example. The comment section is full of, to be honest, butt hurt guys that are like, why are you talking about guys like that, yo? Why are you talking about my tattoo like that? I'm just like, of all the things in the world, me talking about your tattoo in a comedic setting, where at the end of the video, I'm literally like, yo, man, I'm kidding, and then I make fun of my own tattoo. You really butthurt. Here's the part that I'd like to talk about. It's not that you're butthurt. I've gotten many comments, many times in my life, that are negative under my YouTube videos, it's fine. My question is, where's that same mother effing energy when women literally have commentary spoken about them about everything? By politicians about our bodies, by society about what we should dress. An entire human history that is commentated on women. Where is that angry energy that you have now that I'm talking about your tattoo in a comedic way? I just don't understand. So all this to say, I really want to shout out, because focus on the positive, I really want to shout out secure, confident men, because I am privileged and honored enough to know a few of those men. Humble the Poet, Swiss Beats, Justin Baldoni, just to name a few, who are like, yo, we are not threatened by an outspoken woman who's making moves and who's like confident and doing her thing. But I just feel like every time, because I'm a woman and I make comedy videos if I make a joke about a guy there's always a bunch of guys who are just so upset it could be about anything it could be knock knock who's there a guy yo why the F you talking about guys you think you just freaking women aren't funny yo. it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay you don't gotta be that fragile women we just out here trying to get the same opportunities as you we're not trying to like take your spot we're not coming just just take it easy it's gonna be okay you know why because my videos are funny you should subscribe <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit longer segment than I had planned for. We got the whole weekend still.
still to go, but the last thing I will end on is my most hated video of all time, one of them, I think it's like the top three probably, is titled, Why I Don't Need a Boyfriend. Just let that sit. I have videos called, What I Love About Guys, Five Things I Love About Guys. I have all those videos, all received very well. One on one videos, most hates, Why I Don't Need a Boyfriend. Just let that, let that sink in, let that sink in. A woman saying she doesn't need a man? Dislike. I'm saying, I ain't playing, but you know who's ready to play? Cleaned this, washed those, let's go upstairs. Pretend like you haven't seen this outfit before. Hey, girl love jewelry, you know what's good? Damn, I gotta say, I'm feeling myself today, yo, because I just went on a next Twitter rant, not even rant, Twitter discussion. Just sending mad love to all the girls out there because it's really sad how every media story is covering this Cardi B, Nicki Minaj fight. I'm not arguing about the fight. I'm not arguing if it happened. I'm not arguing why it happened and whose fault it is. I have a rule which is if I wasn't there and I don't know the people personally and I wasn't present, I ain't trusting no, I've just learned. I've just learned. The media has always got a story to tell. What I am saying is that, yo, the media is so quick to hop on stories that show girls not getting along and I get it. It sells. It's the same reason clickbait works. I get it. But I'm just saying I feel like that needs to be counteracted with some girl love. And I just feel that women we're bigger than ourselves. And I just went on a Twitter rant shouting out Liza Koshy and Jenna Marbles and Gabby. And I just had a great text conversation with Gabby about this. Like, it's not about me being number one and you being number one. Like, there's something at play that's bigger than all of that. And that is like changing the culture of girl on girl hate. And I really believe that. I had to check myself so many times on YouTube. And I tweeted about this very, you know, candidly. When Liza and Gabby and Lele, when they came to YouTube, I was one of the people that I was shook. I was like, yo, these people came onto YouTube and effed up everything I had going on. And they forced me to step up my game. Because of them, and because of how they were changing the game, I had to change my game. And I thank them for that, because I got better because of that, and I don't view them as my competition. I stand beside them, and I want them all to succeed. And as every girl, even like Jenna and Grace and Hannah, maybe people all came before me, yo, nothing but respect. I tried to be as cool as them, 100%. So anyone that I inspire, who people are like, stop copying Superwoman, don't even listen to that. There's enough room to succeed for everyone, and I'm not trying to knock down anyone, even if People are like, oh, they're copying your style. No, I copy people's style when I started. So F all that noise. Girl love. Wow, it's day one of the weekend. This is my second little segment in the vlog. This is going to be a long one, y'all. I'm sorry. So when I said we're going to a birthday party, it's actually not my friend's birthday. It's Scarborough's friend's birthday. It's Cookie's birthday. And of course, Cookie's one of Scarborough's best friends. We had to get Cookie a gift. So check it out. Up first, obviously, unicorn toy. Actually, Scarborough doesn't even have this. Look at him. He's like, you sure does for Cookie and not me? Up next, a taco! It has this little... Some poop bags. A rainbow little tug of war thingamabobber. An ice cream that matches Scarborough's. A happy birthday dog cookie. I also brought a bag and some tissue paper, so we gonna wrap this up and it's gonna be real cute. Scarborough, you even wrote cookie a card? Wow, don't eat it. The level of extra at this party is nothing short of what I expect from Ro. Are you ready for this? These are all dog treats, you said? Oh, I am living. Scarborough, are you ready for this? Oh my god, she's so extra. I goddamn love it. I love the degree of extra. Good job, Scarbo. It's okay. You don't have to hide. They're all friends. Good job. Good job. Scarbo, you don't need to hide in there. <laughs> oh my god, are these dog pools? Oh my god. I mean, better than any birthday party I've ever had. You want a swimming pool for home? Okay, mama will get you one. Mama will get you one. Ro and I assembled this. We're basically okay. contractors. Will the dogs love it. Will most of this. No. I will give you credit. You were so good. I want to get like dog tunnels, like dog it's, activities. It's very good. Everything is very good. I think it's for like a little kid. I would use this easily. No problem. Scarborough's having the time of his life. Little And Gallup just showed up, which who was dressed like a unicorn. I I mean, honestly, this is my birthday party because this is everything I like. There is basketball a basketball net. net that is amazing. <laughs> okay, Scarborough really likes you, Mamrie. What's going on here? I mean, I have a special something. I know. Look at this guy. I know. Best dress. Best dress. What? I got the posse. The posse over here. Oh my goodness. Scarborough would never let that happen. It's <laughs> so chill. Scarborough's like, hell no. Good job, Moose. I thought you said you wouldn't do it. I thought he wouldn't do it either. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's too much. There goes, there 
Oh, it's in play. Happy birthday to you. Oh Happy birthday to you. Woo! Yay, oh, 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 my God. I can do it. Besides Cookie, Scarbo is the only other dog eating the cake, and he's that puppy. Oh no, now someone else is eating. Good job. <laughs> woo, woo, woo! All right, new development. It's the end of the party, and just in time, I found Scarbo, and he was chewing on the stem of a grape. If you know anything about dogs, grapes are very toxic to dogs, so me freaking out, obviously. I don't know if he ate the grape or not, because he was chewing on the stem, but I called my vet, like a big stem, and I was like, hey, I'm not sure if he ate this. Like, what should I do? They're like, no, you should take him to animal hospital just in case, because any amount of grape is toxic, and I'm like, so now, <laughs> at the end of the party, we're gonna go to the animal hospital. <sighs> okay, so it's a little bit later. Clearly, it's very dark now. They made him throw up. They didn't find any grape. They're like, if he ate an hour ago, chances are we would have found it, and with parts of it would have been whole still. So they're like, there's no way to know for sure if some part of it is still in the This is the thing. This is the thing. In LA, I feel like every time I go to the vet or the animal hospital, they're, I mean, I'm sure they have to tell me all the options. That's fine. But they're like, to be safe, you could leave him here for two days. Quite expensive, but you could hook him up on an IV for two days. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use the executive decision and say no. And that's like, yeah, that's probably like smart. Like, they made him throw up. They found no grape. He probably didn't eat it in the first place. But now, he's just like, you took me to a party and then you made me throw up. Sweetheart. No grapes, okay, Bumbo? No grapes, mommy. People were mean. I know, sweetheart, I know. King of going buck wild at parties. <laughs> they said one of the things to watch out for is loss of appetite. I think we're fine. Guys, I might eat like a white person. It is Sunday. I slept in so hard because first I woke up and I just had a pounding headache, so I went back to bed and I woke up at one. My tomorrow self is not gonna thank me for that. We need to make up for lost time. Scarborough's mats are drying upstairs. I need to deal with all of this. So let us deal with it now. All of us are working very hard right now. Mom, I'm on a date. Stop, okay? Okay, you guys want to do something ridiculous? I just unpacked my suitcase, cleaned my room. I can't find my bed sheets. I put them in the wash a while ago, and I feel like I put them up somewhere to dry. I feel like on that railing, and now I can't find them anywhere. I feel like during a shoot, someone moved them, and now I don't know where my bed sheets are. I lost my bed sheets. So I am headed somewhere super excited. Matt Santoro invited me to the Game of Thrones concert. Ah! I'm so excited. He's like, yo, I know you're a really big Game of Thrones fan. Obviously, he's come to my parties and stuff. And so we're going to the concert, and I'm nerding the F out. So I thought I would do my makeup a little special today. I'm going to do this really fun thing other YouTubers have done. I'm pretty sure. But I think it's genius. It is following a makeup tutorial while listening to only the VO, therefore not actually watching it, just listening to it. Now here's the thing, even if a makeup person was right here on my lap telling me what to do, I would still fail. So I can already foresee this not going great, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna follow James Charles Fall first impressions makeup tutorial. I'll put the link down in the description as well in case you want to follow it. It's fall, which I feel like it's almost fall. It makes sense. It makes it makes sense. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna listen, we're gonna make it happen. Alright guys, so I'm first gonna start by priming my face using the No Pore Blum primer from Touch and Soul. This is a primer. I don't think I have a primer. I'm just gonna use this random lotion. Never tried it before. So a lot of pores, unfortunately. Oh my god, I thought I spoke fast. Oh I'm not supposed to look. Hold on. I already like this primer. It feels so incredible. He likes his primer. I like my lotion. We're off for a good start. See how it actually holds up. I'm using Fenty. Also, I usually put my concealer on first, but he's saying foundation, so I don't know. What language is he speaking? Full baked? Is this James Charles or Rosanna Pansino? Okay, pause! Oh my god, he's so fast! God must keep up with James. Done, I think. Woo! Jeez! I love it, but I also don't hate it at all. The match of color is really, really good for me, and I'm definitely like a fan of this. It matches my skin pretty well, which is a uh, very rare occasion on the James Charles YouTube channel. I know you guys always drag me for it. My skin texture looks decent. I've had foundations that make my skin look better, and I've definitely had ones that made it look worse. I noticed that at least I'm just gonna use my handy dandy shape tape in the shade light. Okay, oh! So actually, after laying shape tape over top of the foundation, now concealer. Looks a lot okay, more. so and concealer goes after. News to me. God, we are not about to have a walking nose contour today. Hold on! Oh my goodness gracious, I thought I was fast with things. James is a machine. I've been doing this wrong the whole time. Concealer goes after. Who would have thought? Each perfect modifying setting powder. I know Jackie, setting powder? Perfecting powder? Is perfecting powder and setting powder the same thing? Oh my God. What do I even oh, use? Looks like as dry as I'm gonna use this overly used like sponge right here. Like wow, this is actually like dope. I've never used this before. I've always had this. Oh my God, this is actually amazing. My pores are like gone. Like 
literally same. Like, what is bacon? Am I baking? Am I baking? Just because okay, I have primer water. I always do this at the end. Why would I do this now? James, what are you saying? A of blush, using the brand new Anastasia blush now? I would normally do this before I actually bake my face, but it completely slipped my mind. Why would I be putting on blush now? I thought I'm so confused. Oh my god, you talk so fast, James. What are you saying? R zero brush from Morphe into my face. What the hell is an R zero brush? So now my face is all done and baking the oven at 350. It's a little bit of a cooking function there, but we're gonna go ahead and. What are you saying? Down the shade at number four and start to define out the. As you guys know, there's the a tail. tail. I guess that means this end first. Okay, I didn't know there were brow styles. I thought you just filled them back in. Wait, hold on. Uses to brush all the hairs into place. I've actually been using this a lot more than the Gimme brow. A brow setter? Did he say brow setter? I'm gonna just fill in my brows. Place onto the eyeshadow and eyeshadow. Cat's pajamas eyeshadow palette. Ah, I cannot wait. So this is the actual palette. It is absolutely. What is he saying? <laughs> what language is this? Here's the thing. I'm not gonna be able to see the color. I'm gonna be able to listen to what the color is. So ten shades for forty dollars, which is only four dollars a shadow, which is not bad at all. I will say I have not put this on my eyes, but I definitely have done a few swatches, and this is so incredibly good. Let's just do like, let's just do one, just to show you guys. No, one what? Say the color in English. What is the color in English? So pigmented, as Manny would. Pigmented like like what color? So I actually don't know what color he's using. I don't think he said it in English. He's saying some next terms. Okay, it's fall. So I'm guessing like so what I have. I'm guessing something like that is like fall, right? Okay, we gonna see. We gonna see. Ugh! I use my eyeshadow brush from Manjeet's beard. Damn it! I don't think this is an eyeshadow brush. Let's use it. Bomb diggity as a transition. Jesus. Transition shade in the eyeline crease in the eyeline crease what is a crease are you talking about this is this a crease or is that a crease i think it's there i think that's a crease transition shade you know what i used ignite i feel like a transition shade is like smog maybe looks like nothing <laughs> really really good same oh yes yeah, sister laura I'm next going to grab a clean M433 brush and dip into the shade Cray Cray and deepen up the crease a little bit. Deepen up the crease. I'm going to do this. Oh, this brush has glue on it. Okay, he's used four eyeshadows and four brushes. I don't understand. Reds are maroons in the palettes because a red formula is really, really hard to perfect. I bug. I can't even tell you I am so saying the cranberries. Cranberries. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and apply it on the lid dry first and see how it applies. See, he's on five eyeshadows with five different brushes right now, and it sounds like he's speaking like math equations right now. I'm gonna buy Q2MW4 Y equals M supposed to be bus brush. Absolutely stunning. Just Same. Like, so wait, he didn't put anything on his lid yet? What did you put? Where are you putting it? Wait, out of 513, one last time and dip right back into Cray Cray, and then I'm just going to bump up this. <laughs> He just did an Adam 415 brush dip back into Cray Cray. Oh my god, I'm so out of my element. Next one, I'm gonna wear Adam 559 and dip into the shade Quartz. Wait, did he said something about dipping something into. Wait, where the hell? I, okay, first of all, I have two brushes. So this is. He said a fluffy brush to hug his lower lash line. That would be here. What the F color would you use there? I'm gonna use this one, Stranded. Because it's most. No, no, no. That's safe. I'm gonna use double life. You under my eye? What, like here? I have no idea. I mean, I guess that looks kind of good. And after the eyes are both done, I'm gonna apply some lashes today. Lashes? Um, I am going to just put mascara on because me, I don't even think I have eye Wait, actually I do have a pair of lashes. This is gonna be dangerous. Okay, I don't think I can put these on. I feel like these are still sticky enough where I don't have to put glue on, so I'm gonna just not use glue and use the glue from last time because I'm gonna save my eyelashes. It's a lot harder to work with, but I feel like that works in the fact that it won't come. No, that's not even close. Ew, I hate it so much! I hate it so much! It looks like a bug! No, 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 we're gonna use mascara. Wait, he's he's not using eyeliner? The eyes are done, our next step is going to be the glow. You're done? Glow? Highlighter. Okay. Do I own that? I feel like I do. Do I have highlighter? Oh! Blush and highlight palette. Ooh! This is just like all blush. Why are you so dumb? Highlight. Get a highlight. Highlight berry. That can't be right. Oh, I got punched in the face, but we're gonna go with it. Lipstick in the shade Honolulu as a base. Honolulu as a base. He's putting eyeshadow on his lips. Okay, I'm gonna do primrose. This seems fallish. It's like a... Right? Is this fall? Nope. Nope, we're not gonna do that. Maybe fig? 
No, this doesn't go with my eyes though. My eyes are orangey and this is more pink. Look, listen to me, I'm a makeup guru. Huh, maybe that, let's see. Huh, huh, maybe, something, sorta, I don't know. You have a simple DIY, you ever have a lipstick that dries down matte but you want it to be metallic? Okay. Just put it on, let it dry down completely, and then just layer over top with a similar shade of metallic eyeshadow. And Ooh, okay. Super easy and looks so, so good. Oh my God. This look is now complete. All right, guys, and that is this fall first impressions makeup look all complete. Okay, he was so right about the eyeshadow on the lipstick, by the way. Holy crap. He said spritz again. He didn't do eyeliner, though. Huh? It's probably because he put lashes on. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's not... Let me give you a better angle. Ta-da! This is what I did. I don't know. so intense over there. It looks like a punch in the face. But, like, okay, now I'm going to look at what his picture was. Oh, what? Oh, that? Oh, his is so much better. <laughs> oh, his is like red. He used reds. Like red, red. This is more orange. This is more like, like a not as good. Wow, you can like see all the blended color out of his eyes. You can just see like one on mine. You are talented, James Charles. Holy crap. I could eat. I, there's no way in hell I could have kept up with that. I mean, I tried. How do I look? I agree. I'm going to wash my face and then do my makeup. Okay, bye. Who am I to get them sugar? All right, the nerds have united. <laughs> the nerds are here. Like we need a, like a, a at the, I know, we need a sign. We're such nerds, I love it. Guys, the Game of Thrones like oh, flags are on that. the building. I just realized that. Uh, this Someone drink is called the Night King. So a few people have come up to us and asked for pictures and all the white people who I met are like so confused about what's going on. I feel like they think we're from Game of Thrones. Uh, I feel like... I loved you in episode 9. Thank you. Thank you. When I talk to Bran... Matt for taking me that was freaking amazing like every sound was done live it was incredible it's midnight I forgot that I actually have to shoot a rant for tomorrow so I have to write in a quarter rant right now BRB okay done writing luckily it was a short and easy one my lights are not upstairs so they set up for spice news I don't give it up I'm doing it without lights I'm sorry if the rant for today when you're watching this is not as lit as usual but I have to shoot spice news again tomorrow so I can't be moving up and down I'm sorry my head is starting to hurt again I can't I can't okay finish the rant it's so shadowy I'm gonna allow it it's fine I'm gonna allow it it's like cuz my headache is back full-fledged my head is now pounding again which I think I need to like wash my hair and massage my scalp or something and it's 12 37 a.m. oh time is is not my friend. Bless life. F it, I ain't washing my hair. I'm just gonna sniff my essential oil and try to fall asleep and pop two Advils because it's getting late and I gotta get to bed. Thank you for joining me on today when you're watching this new video is releasing, so stay tuned on the main channel. As for today, let's see, or as for the last two days, let's see how we did. Today's video is types of DMs girls get, so stay tuned, it's gonna be lit. Well, not lit because the lighting wasn't on the ramp, but otherwise lit. Now.